everyone, it's Heather from the Memory Box Project. Um, so I have some good news today and some bad news. The good news is there is a mini Memory Box session and it is about sport. The bad news is you have got me to do it and I am the least sporty member of the team, but we will power through and we will show some sportsmanship and get it done. So as per usual, pause the video wherever you want to, um, to chat amongst yourself, share all your memories. Um, there'll be a small power um, point slide as well in the middle of this, which is narrated for you to, to go through and use all the um, reminiscence activity pack sheets as well. As you're doing this, write your memories down on the sheet um, and do, maybe do some colouring if you fancy it, um, just to sort of combine the two. So first up, we're going to talk about sports, your favourite sports from when you were a child. So what sort of sports did you enjoy playing? Were you a footballer maybe? Um, did you play cricket? Did you do a lot of um, playing sports in the street maybe outside your house? My nan told me um, a story of when she used to play with um, the kids in the street, they used to do rounders or cricket and used to play with a copper stick, which they would nick from an auntie or the mum's house. Um, and whoever's copper stick it was, when they had to go in, the game ended because they weren't allowed to keep the copper stick. You had to take it in with you. <laughs> so that was a little um, little memory of hers. We've got some lovely pictures here. We've got footballers. So were any of you keen footballers? And are, are you still keen footballers or did that carry on through your life? Did you play for a team? What teams did you support? Obviously being from Southampton. My family's a Saints fans. Did you remember the old Dell, maybe, if you are from Southampton? What your um, your football stadiums were like in for your team or for the area that you, you lived in and grew up in? Did you go to any of the matches? Would you regularly go? I know some people were a bit, um, a bit sneaky and a bit cheeky and they would be able to watch the games from maybe a very tall hill. <laughs> We have some tennis players here. This is obviously a Wimbledon match. There's quite famous tennis players, but did you ever play tennis? Was tennis your sport? I've got to admit, I don't really understand tennis that much. I've tried my hardest. My mum always tried to get me to, to understand it. I also went to tennis lessons when I was younger. I went to one and I cried at the side of the, um, <laughs> at the side of the court the entire time. I was very young but I wanted to go home. So I'm not the keenest of tennis players. I've seen pictures as well of tennis players having cigarettes across the net. Obviously when rules were very different. What sort of outfits did you wear? So the Wimbledon players, they wear white because it's the colour that shows the least amount of sweat apparently. We've got a slightly bigger one here. We've got cricket players. This one is from 1936. So it's quite an old one. But I think the um, the rules are pretty the similar. And they're obviously in their cricket whites there. Were you a cricket player? Or did you enjoy going to watch the cricket? So I'd imagine it's quite a calm game. It seems quite calm when I've seen it on the telly. And quite relaxing to go and watch. And the cricket balls, did you ever have any bad experiences with those cricket balls? Because they are very hard. Next up, oh, we've got some more cricket pictures. So these ones are someone's photos that they've sent in. Oh, I see it there, and they're cricket whites again. And they're cricket bats. And on the back, we've got some more. And the whole team. And this one, this is an interesting one. We have a boxing match. So this one's from 1922. But you can see, if you can, they've got their leather boxing gloves on in a roped up boxing ring. So did you ever, did you ever go to watch the boxing maybe instead of being a boxer? Cause it's quite a dangerous sport I'd imagine. Did you ever go and cheer anyone on? Did you have any boxers that maybe you quite liked watching? So, I said I wasn't very good at sport. And the only sport, because I did chicken out of a lot, I tried majorettes, I refused. 
I tried swimming, I floated, I couldn't swim. <laughs> so the only thing I was good at was karate. Now I have put this picture in one of our adverts recently, but I did get to brown belt in karate, which is pretty good. There's only one more and I was gonna be black belt. And I actually quite enjoyed karate as well. Even though I wasn't the loudest, I did used to mime. So when all the other kids were doing their punches and saying, hiya, I was miming and going. <laughs> and I used to get told off for it quite a lot. <laughs> so well, maybe, maybe did you do, do any martial arts or maybe any un more unusual sports? Maybe we've got some archers um, or some snooker players. Those in sports that aren't as common, but you enjoyed doing. So did any of your sporting um, hobbies as well carry on into your adult life? I did not carry on karate, but I know lots of people that have obviously carried on doing their, their sports that they enjoyed. We've got some sort of more rare sports here. So racetrack driving. This one is from 1927. So again, quite old, old style cars here which when we've done, or we're gonna do transport week, we'll be looking into a bit more. You remember the old handles that used to have to crank to get the engine going? Did you ever go and watch any racing, racing um, tracks? <laughs> Told you I wasn't the best at sport. Maybe put any bets on? Have any famous fa um, racing drivers that are your, your favourites? Or maybe you, instead of cars, you preferred the bikes? Um, or possibly the dogs. That was good timing. So we've got some greyhound, greyhound races here with their, um, their owner. I remember, I've, I think I've been to seeing these before. I've been, to, yeah, I've been to the dogs and they've got to chase the, um, the rabbit, haven't they? And that gets them going. You've also got obviously the, the horse racing as well on the TV and the Grand National. Here we've got some ladies and gentlemen here it's playing bowls. This one's 1924. The bowls are very heavy aren't they? The big black um, main ball that you throw is very heavy and then you've got the white, I think it's called a jack, to um, to hit. I remember them always having a colour disc as well so you know whose bowl, whose bowl sorry, is closest. Then here, I'm not sure what date this one is, it looks very old, but we've got some children on the ice. So did you ever go ice, race, um, ice skating? I know in Southampton there was an ice rink, top rank, and I'm sure in lots of other places there were similar if not the same sort of brand of, of um, ice rink and lots of people enjoyed going there. It was obviously also sort of more common sports that you may have done on a night out, like dancing maybe. If anyone went down to the pier or to a local dance hall um, for, for a bit of a dance. So, we've looked at all of the different sports. Have a little chat, which ones are your favourite? Maybe you didn't like to even play them. Maybe you enjoyed watching sports instead. So if we were gonna go back to school sports, what sort of PE kit did you have in school? <laughs> the dreaded PE kit. So we've had lots of people before that have had to wear the regulation knickers, the green or the navy blue knickers. Did, was that you with the little pocket for your hanky? Don't know why you'd need a hanky for your sports, but you never know. Maybe you had to wear your vest and pants. We had to in reception. And if you forgot your kit in primary school. And they had to always do your pee on those smelly pee mats. It smelt like feet because everyone's sweaty feet had been all over them. Did you have maybe a netball kit or a football kit that you had to wear? Maybe shorts or a skirt? What other sports um, did you do in school? The hockey, the hockey stick and when that would whack your ankles. Oh, painful. Did you ever have to do your PE um, in the rain? Or were you, was PE off that day if you did get rained off? We had to quite often do cross country as well. 
Were any of you naughty? Because I know I was. Did anyone hide and then meet on the second lap? <laughs> we had a very convenient little woods near where we lived and I'm hoping none of my old teachers are watching this. Partly because my mum and that still worked at the school. Um, so we used to sneak off, go and hide out in the woods for a little while, wait for them to do their few laps, join back in when they came back round. I'm sure many people did that. No one wanted to run the whole thing unless you were really sporty. <laughs> did you also have maybe a sports day? Um, and did you take part in any of the sports day games? Um, for example, the running race, or if you did skipping maybe, long jump? Um, or we always had the relay race. And then I was always put in this one because it was an easy one, the egg and spoon. <laughs> did you ever have to do the egg and spoon race? We would always finish ours off as well with a sack race with parents or your, um, the two-legged race. So a parent and a child would take part. Did you ever win any medals maybe? So I have got a prop with me. I never got one of these. But did you ever win maybe a medal or a trophy at school? These ones have lots of different plaques, all from ranging from the 50s through to the 60s on here. And they've got times on them, so I'm presuming it is something to do with running. But did you ever win? This is the closest I've ever gotten. So for anyone who maybe prefers watching sport instead of playing sport, if you're anything like me and it's a little bit too much effort, what sort of sports did you enjoy watching? Did you watch the tennis? Obviously every year we have the Wimbledon um, on in the summer with the strawberries and cream that you can get away with having at that time of year, maybe a nice cheeky glass of Pims. Um, or you have the football and obviously every four years we get the World Cup. I do like the World Cup when it comes on. I do like watching that. So we've got some football programmes here, which I know would be when you go to a match, but obviously these would be probably on the TV as well. And we've got the Saints one here. This one is from 1983. I'm sure there were some great haircuts in that year. And then we've got this one from 1969. From Fulham Football Club. And obviously when we're watching it on the TV, we've got some we've got famous sports personalities. So here we have one of our reminiscence photo cards. And on the back is Maureen Connolly. So did anyone watch her play? So she was spotted playing sport at the age of 11. And at only 16, she became America's youngest Whiteman Cup player. Impressive. So we've got lots of other famous sports um, personalities. Uh, Virginia Wade, who won the first women's British um, Wimbledon title. Um, we've got football players, Bobby Moore, Pele, lots more that I'm probably sure you can think of um, <laughs> and help me out there. And one I do know about is this gentleman. So if you have a little look, who do you reckon he is? That's it. So that's Roger Bannister and he was the first person to run a four minute mile, which is pretty impressive. Now we've had a very good look on these photos and spoken to a lot of people who know about him, watched watched his um, sporting endeavour and his shoes are not like the shoes you have nowadays and that ground is not like the ground you'd have nowadays either. So that must have been really hard and really impressive to have done. So there may have been other th ways of having famous sporting people as well close. But did you ever collect the cigarette cards? So these are some of the cricket player ones. They're John Player and Sons um, cigarette cards. And we've got lots of different people here. H. Verity, W.A. Oldfield, R. Pride. Lots and lots of them. Did you ever collect anything like these? These are from 1934. They're quite old, these ones. They're all in colour. And they did lots of different themes, didn't they? So football, athletics, 
or if you weren't sporty at all, nature. So we have the first lot of pictures that you can see. So these ones are more badminton sort of tennis pictures. So we have the shuttlecock and two rackets. So one's made of wood and the other one's got a metal frame. So can anyone tell me what the strings used to be made from on rackets? That's right. Some people say they're cat intestines or cow intestines. Did you ever have a racket that was made with these materials? So in these pictures you can see some fishing. I think it's a very popular sport, quite calming. We can see some, some different fish that have been caught and being held up and posed with. You've got the book, The Complete Angler, and a picture of a father teaching his son how to fish. So what age did you start fishing, if you ever did? What was your biggest fish you ever caught? What type of fishing did you do? You've got fly fishing, sea fishing. Did you have all the equipment for it? And did you ever go fishing with your dad or your parents? or an uncle, or your friends. So on this slide, you can see some sporting balls. We've got some snooker balls, cricket balls, and some bowls. So did you ever play any different ball and racket games such as maybe tennis, baseball, rounders, or possibly maybe basketball, or football, rugby? What other equipment did you need to play these get these sports? Did you need any protective equipment or did you have a certain kit to wear? So here we have some different sports. We have snooker up in the corner. We have bike riding. We have some abseiling and we have mini golf. Have you ever tried these sports before? Or have you tried anything a little more daring? More daring than abseiling, maybe? We know we have lots of football fans who take part in the Memory Box project. So we've done a special um, football slide just for you. So we've got a picture of two players. One of them is my brother. We've got some sporting pools and we've got a football. So what were your footballs made of originally? When you were maybe younger and you used to play, did you have a leather football? What was it like when you were playing in the rain? What were your football boots like? Did you have a kit to wear? Was it ever your turn as well to wash the kit? And did you take it home to your mum to surprise her with a special wash day treat? Did you ever win on the water, um, sporting bets? And were you ever part of a team? And how often did you play? And where did you play? In our next pictures, we have a picture of a rowing team. We have some cyclists and someone playing hockey. These are all relatives of Erin's. As you can probably tell from the pictures, we've been raiding our family's sporting endeavours and we have lots to offer. So have you ever been part of a rowing team or have you maybe just tried rowing or canoeing, kayaking maybe? What about biking? You may not be a professional biker but would you go out on your bike maybe as a lad or a young girl riding through the streets? Were you allowed out late on your bike or did you go far on your bike? And hockey, did any of you play hockey at school? Remember those wooden hockey sticks and the hockey puck? And how much it would hurt if it caught your ankles while you were swinging it? So on this slide, our final slide, we have some pictures of surfing. So have you ever been surfing or used a bodyboard? What about just swimming in the sea? Did you learn to swim in the sea when you were younger? 
And did you have one of the classic knitted swimming costumes, which we'll hear more about, I'm sure, on Seaside and Holidays Week? We've also got a horse rider. So the horse is galloping midair there, jumping over the fence. And we've got my sister-in-law, who is holding a hawk. So have you ever taken part in maybe sports that were a bit more unusual? Maybe with different animals or different equipment. Let us know what sort of sports you used to do. So I know from doing um, memory box sessions in the past and talking about sport, we normally have a lot of people that enjoy football. So we'll bring back our football picture from earlier and talk a bit about the, about the sport. Now, I'm sure there is one thing that most of you who played football, especially part of a team, have done at some point. And that's bring the kit home for your mum to wash, yeah? My brothers always used to do it as well, and it was always one mum's turn for the week, wasn't it? So was that you? Causing your mum another wash day full of dirty kits, smelly socks, oh they stink, all those bits of grass coming out of it as well and all those grass stains that were probably a lot harder to, to get out back then. I'm sure that took a lot of scrubbing. So when you were playing football as well, would you have a halftime orange. We've got a couple here. So sometimes a bigger one cut into slices and segments and a bit of a refreshment for for your half time whistle. So to finish up our sporting chat today, did any of you enjoy having a bet? Um, did you take part in the football pools? which you saw a picture of on um, the PowerPoint that was played in between this. Or did you have a bet on the Grand National maybe? I know I have before. Some people don't like it, so they may not want to or may not have done. Um, or a bet at the races, so at the Greyhounds that we saw earlier. Um, or at horse racing. Did you? How did you place your bets? Did you go to a betting shop? Or did you have a local person that would come round maybe and take the bets at the door? I've heard of a few people in Southampton that, um, that used to do that and give the money over and then they'd get it dished out later in the pub or something with over a beer. So I hope you've enjoyed your um, sporting reminiscent session today. I am sorry I'm not the most sporty of people and I am surprised as well my cats haven't joined us today which is um, quite unusual for them. But thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you've enjoyed filling out your your um, memory sheets as well with lots of sporting memories again if you don't if you weren't particularly sporty maybe have a look at different games you played um, even just down the pub a game of darts or um, a game of snooker or a pool or maybe cards if you preferred playing cards and having a bit of a um, bit of a gamble on that um, but yeah, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Take care everyone and stay safe. Bye. <music>